Oshitomoshimasu. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 13 of the Oshimoshi Idol podcast. As always, I have here with me today Maris and Mina. Hello. Hi. And I am your host um, at Idols But Blonde. Uh, Idols what? Yeah. Wait, what? Idols of Blonde. That's what I am now. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you guys were gone last week. That was going yeah. to happen. I was um, sick. And... I'm still so sick. That? Yeah, yeah. Um, and sort of in place of our regular time spot, uh, I did uh, this weird social experiment thing. Um, that didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, but like, um, of course, it's a social experiment. It was a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it's. I think it's worth watching. Uh, there's like a lot of uh, sort of like big, like big idea type discussion that we have going on, okay. um, and that isn't uploaded yet, but it will be soon. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I guess I'll talk a little bit about. It. Basically, I just brought together a bunch of people who didn't know each other and told them to talk about idols. Uh, so yeah, that's, just that's just us. one thing, Chad. If you can tell me how the levels of the microphones are, because just they updated the the stream and uh, stream labs and things don't look the same. So yeah, let me know if a mic is like too loud or too low. Anyway, keep going. Yes. Weeds. Yeah. So this week is uh, mostly like a catch up day. Uh, a lot of news that um, we didn't cover in the past two weeks or so. Um, but before we get to that, um, I guess. How, how's everyone been uh, since we were last all together with Miggy uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, Maris, do you anything? Um, I was sick, and then I'm oh, still no. sick, and I've been working. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done much. I've been um, I've just been like hanging out with friends. I went to a toe concert. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, no, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Uh, it was really cool. It's a cool Japanese band. If you guys don't know, they do like instrumental. Well, they sing some songs, but it's mostly like instrumental music, and it's really cool. I got to see them live because it was something I really wanted to see. And yeah, I haven't been doing much other than following all the news. Cause there's a lot of idle stuff working oh happening and yeah it's pretty much it i'm working work is boring guys just yeah just a lot of work mina what's been up to uh studying studying and i wasn't there on thursday because i went to a concert so <laughs> how how was that it was it was good it, i went to a sam smith concert this is an idol related but yeah it was good. It was his last uh, destination for his tour. But yeah, um, studying. I have an exam tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna like, you guys do your news while I study. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With you, books. Yeah, I about you. Yeah. I've been doing... you went to a concert. I you, did you on Sunday. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> on. On Sunday, I went to uh, Scandal. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was a lot of fun. Um, mostly just because like um, I went in like being kind of aware of like their music and stuff, right? Um, but I mean, I wasn't really like a fan fan, right? Um, but I mean, I walked out. It was the show was great, um, and so yeah, I'm trying to listen more to them, get to know them and stuff. Um, I have like some photos and some videos that I've like, put in stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah, it was really fun. Um, yeah, I'm I'm mommy <clears throat> Oshi now. Uh, oh, you so are. Weird. I am. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I bought I bought Nogisatsu finally. Um, All right. Yeah, it was it was in the it was in my uh, local Wea bookstore. Um, Your so local Wea bookstore. Yeah, it's my local Wii bookstore. Wow. <laughs> he has his own shop that he buys for this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I picked that up. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, last night, I started Idols the Blonde. Um, yes. Oh, my God. Can we not talk about this? <laughs> this on Twitter. Can we... 
No. You made me I mean, sad yesterday. You, you, you started it, happened. though. How did you I start it? It all, all <laughs> started with, what if Techie was blonde? Oh, it was me? <laughs> then he started it. All, I'm sorry. All those months ago. And then, and then on Twitter... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Karina was talking about um, what if the Japanese girls in um, Eyes One decided to dye their hair. Um, and oh so I did not go. And then I um, had Nightmare with Blonde Nako. <laughs> blonde Nako then, yeah. is not cool. We should not have okay. Blonde Nako. <laughs> and so it just, it just kind of took off from there. Um, and so, yeah, now I, now I take requests, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Idols will Please don't send requests, guys. Just <laughs> don't. Request. It's okay. I've already done a ton of requests. People are people are interested. What what is the top at like what is the top idol that people are asking? The top idol? Yeah. That people are asking? Yeah. I mean, it's usually like a idol at a time. Um, but like, do you want to know what has like the most likes or whatever? Yes. Oh, I just got a request in. Oh. Oh, that's not that's not nothing. Uh, so let's see. You that's should do you should now. do a Nana say because Nana. I did do. Oh, did okay, 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 okay. I did right. too. All right. <laughs> I did one. I did one prior to the, finding out the news. Um, and then one after, because um, someone requested me to do five Nana says. Um, so I just did an extra one. I, I mean, I feel like you shouldn't need to do Blonde Techie because we actually got Blonde Techie. Like, a girl did that we? looks exactly like Techie. I, was... I didn't think she looked like Techie. What? She even had the same I moles. Didn't, Come on. I didn't think it looked like her. Totally looked like Techie. Um, techie I did Habu. She has 13 likes. Wow. <laughs> Your is not Can you just Before not, Rishi. guys? Please don't indulge. Like, <laughs> oh my no. God, even Erica, I cannot. <laughs> uh, Akinen, which was requested by Karina, of course, um, has yeah. ten retweets and twenty-three likes. Please add the piss filter, That's good. the yellow filter on top. <laughs> uh, Nako has six retweets and twenty-four likes. That's, That's what I've been doing the last uh, twenty-four hours, I guess. Cool. Um, Good yeah. to know you have a new thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get banned from it. Anyway, okay, I want to so ban I, no. him for <laughs> doing this. Yeah. Someone <laughs> tweeted. Someone tweeted me in Portuguese, being like, "This person should be banned for the atrocities that he's done, or whatever." Right. In Portuguese. <laughs> in Portuguese. In Portuguese. And then I retweeted that on We Bookstore. Yeah. Yes. And and that person followed We Bookstore, right? But then they deleted they deleted the atrocities tweet. So I was like, you don't get away with that. So I posted the screenshot of the tweet, and then and then they got followed. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. You straight up suck. Wow. Please don't follow We Bookstore, guys, or the blonde whatever is the name of that thing. Idols, but yeah, don't do that. Don't just don't. <laughs> Mina follows. I follow. Because <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one before I started the Twitter, I literally tweeted on We a Bookstore like, I'm just gonna do this to piss off as many people as I can. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> you, you did it. Good stuff. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so on to news, right? We got a lot of that to cover. Um, in 48 News, uh, what do we have? Um, Sentimental Train, um, according to Billboard, sold 1.5 million copies um, on their first day, um, which, is, which is a pretty big deal. I think that's wait, up wait, from how, how much? 1.5 million. 1.5. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's according to Billboard. Like Oricon has like a different number and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, all the all the music videos are over there now for all the coupling songs, whatever. Um, I haven't got a chance to watch them yet, but um, there'll definitely be links in the description. Um, Junken, the Junken tournament, um, is on the twenty third, which is this Sunday. 
Um, and they will be streaming on Nico Nico. Is Nico Nico region blocked? I don't think it is. I've been there before. Uh, but I think they can region block things. So they could like region certain, block yeah. the event. Yeah, they could if they want. But Nico Nico is like, it's like that kind of stuff that is very weird to us because they have like all the comments going through and it's just, I just yeah. don't like it. So I'm never there ever. So. Yeah, but uh, Duncan should be pretty fun to watch. I've never been around for a Duncan tournament. Before, yeah, so. I might watch it. I mean, I'm not sure I'll see it. I'll watch it live, but I'll watch it because, because it's Duncan and sounds silly enough that I could, I could watch it for a couple of hours. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Um, I mean, it's like one of those things like, so thank you, right? It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, Reina has announced on showroom <clears throat> that there will be no more, uh, the energy Senbatsu. Renji, uh, so thank you. Um, so, in, we talked about it in the past, but, um, in like the last few years, Katorena, uh, has been allowed to like hold her own sort of mini Senbatsu. Um, yeah. The first time in 2016, they got to do a, a song. Um, I think last year's was a photo book, and this year uh, it was to decide the cast for the Romeo and Juliet stage play. Um, but yeah, she she said that they she, she won't be doing any more of those. So that's a thing. Um, and then uh, also in AKB, uh, you have Mukaichi Mion casted in a drama. Um, uh, Keishicho Sosa Shirio yeah yeah whatever that's, you that's said that i, I didn't hear said, anything that was, was, <laughs> yeah there will be there there will be words in the description I, I, <laughs> I did i did i did um and then also uh akb and jkt did a little member switch yeah. thing um right so uh kawamoto saya saya yeah um, she is going to JKT, um, and in return, AKB is getting Stephanie Priscilla. Did you have more to say about that? No. Mm -hmm. you know? um, isn't Mobile in there as well? From um, what? Wait, what, what's what? What did you say? Is Mobile? I thought I heard I, I was thinking, yeah, Mobile from BNK. There's a whoa, 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 whoa. There's a girl in BNK called Mobile. Yeah, okay, Maris is never going to get over Thai nicknames. That's just, <laughs> that's just decided at this point. No. I don't know if Mobile's in there, but I, I heard people say Mobile was there because Novazola Rena was breeding them, right? So I'm not too sure. I have to look into that. I can look into that, actually. Yeah, so we'll look into that. Oh, but, yeah. Maris, uh, Thai nicknames are never going to be normal to you, are they? <laughs> look, I just heard it, and then she, I was like, what? Like, what? And then she's like, mobile, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, it's just bad nicknames, right? Like, if you can't tell if it's even a person, it's bad. <laughs> So but that's please. just like the way their culture is, though. I like, know, just they like just have names like that. You can't even Google <laughs> that shit. You can't even say like, <laughs> uh, Google mobile. Like, it's not gonna happen, guys. If you Google Techi, you're gonna find Hirate. But like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a JKT news. I guess it's JKT. Do you, do you guys? Do you guys see that? Uh, Sally, Sally Amaki got a date oh, with right. a jkt girl yeah, yeah, that's yeah. legit oh, news yeah, yeah, yeah. that's legit news like i'm so glad sally keep Wait, keep fighting the fight she's called she called her girlfriend already it's kind of cute yeah so they, 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 they treated they, each they, other they, they oh yeah. they treated each other like that was really cute they've been flirting online for like ages and that's why i'm telling you guys please Let's make Tinder Zaka a thing because look, Sally could find love on Twitter. You guys can also find love on, on whatever Twitter or, or Discord. Let's make it happen. 
I just don't think we need we need Woda families or Woda fans. Of course we do. Of course world. we do. We need more um, Techie fans in the world. Like more work. toxic little Techie fans. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> I will I will make it happen if someone codes it cuz I don't have the time. <laughs> Let's do it. Um in some grand news, uh my Asco has uh, officially announced pregnancy. Um, so she was just married in July, right? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, everyone was kind of like under the suspicion that it was going to be a shotgun marriage. Yeah, and we all This knew. is kind of confirmation. Like no we one's going to say, like, yeah, it was. But uh, yeah, yeah. And she sensed her, sensed, sensed the preg pre what is pregnancy. 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 Sensed the pregnancy announcement. Um, she she got a spokesperson spokesperson job um, for a children's photo studio. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. She's isn't... getting jobs off her <sighs> pregnancy. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Don't you guys think that's hilarious? Like it's Achung, right? It's just <laughs> yeah. And then she gets pregnant and she's instantly like, oh, the the mother, kids mother role model. <laughs> It's just like a kid's role model. It's like, you guys don't understand. Like, she was singing Akimoto songs the other day. That was like the complete opposite of a role model. But yeah, good for her. I mean, if she can get the jobs because she's pregnant, cool. You know, more money. So. And just to update on my Yu, uh, we talked about her occult ad previously. Um, she just put out an ECM um, that has nothing like, to do uh, with Tichi's Yokult one. We knew yeah. it. We talked about it. It's like, yeah, it's just, <laughs> Tichi's gonna be like sad and like edge. Yeah, look, look how cool I am, and I'm drinking this Yokult, and Mayu is just like being silly. I like yeah. that. Mayu, like she, she like gets out of bed and then she like walks on like this scrolling background, um, and then basically the idea of the of the CEM is that like you can be anything, right? And so like you can be anything with your cult, um, or you could be your cult. At the end, she turns into a box of your cult. So <laughs> it's the kind yeah. of stuff that I think when I drink your cult, right? And I don't even drink your cult. I should, cause oh. please sponsor us. It's good. <laughs> it's good for us. Yeah, it's good for. It has yeah. like. I don't know, it has something that is good for you, apparently. And just to, like, punctuate that, um, she actually got to throw the first pitch at a uh, Yakult Swallows game. Um, How so... did she do? Pretty um, bad? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to check, is but... Uh, Normally, I mean, idols cannot yeah, do it properly, so... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you get someone who can actually do it, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, moving on. Uh, so some Jurana updates. Um, she was absent for SKE's request hour, um, which is like the first time they're doing it in like a couple years. Um, but she did kind of perform through like a VTR. Basically, just had a video of of a uh, Jurana, right? And then like flanked by two other members. So they were singing, and there's a large screen behind them with Jurana on it. Um, and then uh, she's still she's still sitting out on um, handshakes. For the time being. She's back, but she's still a ghost. It's great. At least she's yeah. not a chair. <laughs> At least she's not a trophy. Or the sky, she's or the clouds. Cloud, or like a cloud. You know what I'm saying? She's she's always all of those things, guys. Yeah. I think people are just wrong when they think like Techi is like Jesus idol, idol Jesus. You know, it's just Yunina, <laughs> man. Like, look at her. She's doing miracles here. And, you know, Hirate does... The, she's not making... If there's something Hirate is not doing, is miracles. She so falls. there you go. Yeah, she just... She falls at the fall. She's just the complete opposite. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, at request hour, uh, Matsumoto Kaori announced her graduation, um, which is kind of a big hit for the 48 fandom, um, just because, like, Kaori is kind of a legend of her own. Um, she first, right? For at, at the moment, she's the oldest member of 48G in terms of age. Um, yeah. But also, she kind of had like this narrative she? of being. Uh, I think she's 26, 27. Wait, hold on. Um, cool. She's 
uh, and she sort of had like this narrative um, in SKE of being like this. Um, she's 28. She was born in 1990. Oh. Um, she had this narrative in SKE of being like this like eternal Ken Kyuse, um, just because it took a long time for her when the, the when she joined SKE to the time that she was actually promoted to a member. Um, and so like a lot of people like made a deal out of that. Um, and sort of they gave her like this like honorary title of being like in charge of Ken Kyuse, um, which kind of put her in like this like Dai Senpai um, sort of position, right? Um, and then she also got a uh, solo single of her own, um, I think in like 2013-ish. Um, it's one of the first things that Sashihara Reno ever produced. Um, was that song? Oh, so yeah, she's, yeah, she's leaving. Um, but that's not uh, the most recent or the biggest grab news that we have. Oh no, um, that's that's oh, no. that's gonna come later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, in other news, you have um, in NMB, you have uh, Sine, um Her She's officially getting grad single for the 19th single, um, and that is uh, releasing October 17th. Um, I hope NMB fans something. buy yeah. it, because, like, ugh. I'm so disappointed with, like, NMB sales, because I do like mm -hmm. NMB, but, like, they don't sell a lot of records, guys. It's kind of sad. Please buy NMB stuff. Are there highest-selling songs? What? The Mizugi song? Hmm? What you say? Mina said, Mina said that the songs were good. Um, I, I, I was asking to no one in particular if their highest sung songs are like the music Eat song. Because like NMB is like known for the music. Probably. Music. Probably I would say. My favorite song is Yoko Bomono. So. Yeah. But it, that song didn't sell at all. Even though it's a Kanji Keaki song, it didn't sell at all. Yeah. But it's, it was also like the pre pre election single right yeah so, it was right yeah. before the election people are saving their money yeah to not vote for yeah. namba because nmb just tanked at yeah to, to not vote for <laughs> nmb that's what they did <laughs> yeah, yeah um she had her last performance as an akb member on uh, music station recently um i think she centered a song and then she participated in uh koisuru fortune cookie yeah. forever koisuru um, fortune cookie it's never gonna end. No. KFC is forever. <laughs> there was there was a tweet going around where it was the the, the video of it and like everyone was like Sashi just looks so tired of this song. She's always the center of places, right? Yeah. Um, she, she looks <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like you I don't know, man. Like this is so annoying because like uh, how how many years AKB has already? They're gonna sing like uh, heavy rotation for the rest of their fucking lives. And it's like if you don't like yeah. heavy rotation, like too fucking bad, because <laughs> I get tired of songs sometimes. Like I even get tired of like kanji songs. Is that me? Is this yeah me making this sound? I'm sorry. Oh. I, I'm not touching anything. I don't know if it's you maybe. Yeah, like even uh uh, they sent like six AKB members to Thailand recently, um, and they just performed KFC, right? And like, I feel like the people in Thailand are already like sick of Koisu because BNK plays it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just better with BNK. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just being biased. I'm just being biased because Sheer Prong is there. And Mobile, my favorite new BNK. <laughs> He's my Oshi, actually. So. I don't know who Mobile is. Please send Mobile pictures to my Twitter. I want to know who the fuck this girl is. Oh my yeah. god. Um, uh, also in some NMB news, uh, so Milky, who graduated two-ish years ago, um, she's coming back in full force, right? Um, so she recently just had her the first of her two birthday shows. Um, so it was her first like solo live as... Uh, a person outside of 48G. Um, and then on top of that, she has a second show on the 27th. Um, and then at this recent show, she announced that she will also be having a Christmas live. Um, uh, that's all, all that is paired with like this new, like, 
Milky Comeback Push, right? Um, and so she has a bunch of new songs, um, previews of which are available on like her Milky World website or whatever. Um, there'll be links in the description. I actually listened to a couple of them. Um, and they're actually really nice. Um, like the, 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 the name of like her live right now is Milky Land, right? Um, and so like the songs are very like amusement parky, right? Um, but then you, know, you have like two songs that are produced by Sunku, right? And uh, so it just sounds so like- that's good. It sounds like Morning Musume. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like Morning Musume theme park, and then it's Milky. Um, I mean, I'm glad uh, she's getting Tsunku songs. Tsunku songs are the best, guys. I mean, he did some really terrible things as well. I hope that Korea never finds Tsunku, because as soon as they find that, like, Barry's Kobo, like, first single was about like I can't live without you baby <laughs> and they were like nine I don't know um <laughs> uh, yeah I mean that's that's how it is um uh, yeah cute cute first single too wasn't super safe I would just say that and they were really really small like my 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 was like super young as well so yeah, Korea, please don't find Sunku. Leave Sunku alone. Leave, just, just leave Sunku yeah. alone. He's too great for this world. <laughs> you guys will never understand. So, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, Milky's also uh, going to be releasing a book. I don't know any details on that, but a book, as in a, a book. photo book, or not? Oh. I I read book book. I didn't read photo. Oh, book. That photo book. Like we bookstore book. Okay. We have like like a book for reading. I'm that's what oh. I'm assuming at this point. I just um. hope it's like here's the all the gossip that I couldn't tell, and now I'm free and I can. I always wanted like someone to just peel the beans, you know. But they people never yeah, write those all... books. It's so sad, right? Yeah, because they're pretty much killing their career if they do that. But oh, it would be so good to know all the gossip, you know. <laughs> Maybe they should just like. Phantom write one, you know, ghost write one, you know, this would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, some HKT news. Uh, Sakura is up to a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. Um, actually, <laughs> if you're paying attention to that, uh, I think um, on Fortnite she just had her first solo win and she posted that. Out. So yeah. Um, also, Sakura and Nako um, will not be participating in the HKT Bingo Live, um, which actually is getting like a ton of like press from the AKB side of things, right? Um, so like they literally post like, "Hey, HKT Bingo Live" on like every group's individual website, like not just AKBs. Um, so I, they they want it to be something, I guess. Um, but Sakura and Nako are obviously not participating because of uh, Eyes One activities. Okay, what happened to Sakura's hair, guys? Cause like Chad is also like, but her hair though. I don't know what happened. Is Sakura b what blonde? What happened to her hair? Is Sakura blonde? I don't think blonde. No, she's not blonde. It's just brown. That's what everyone's just... talking about. Hold why, on. Why is why is it such a big deal then? I don't know. It's I was like, this isn't even like news. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're like, missing out something here, and she it, has like it, a crazy hair I saw, color. Cat, I saw like, reddish, but her hair's always reddish. Yeah, like, she's just color. Yeah, Wait, I don't understand. It's purple. It's, it's purple. purple. It's purple. Like how purple? K-pop purple? Like if it's K-pop like, purple, like then I think, I think it's like Sashi purple. Is it red? I don't know. I think I think people are overreacting, and she just like dyed her hair. It's just her hair. A normal color, <laughs> and people are like, "Oh, but her hair." It might be K-pop fans just being like, "Oh my god, she changed her hair." Karina's talking about. Uh, we don't talk about that. Blonde. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that Twitter account. We already talked about it. No Bonako <laughs> oh is gonna. Wait, there's a video. I mean, kind of reddish, I guess. Yeah, but who cares? It's just know. like she yeah, just dyed her hair. It's just, it's just okay. her, nobody, her nobody even cares about Sakura. Like really. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We care about Nako here. That's all we care about. And 
how I want to go back in time and never cheer for Nako number one. Because then she wouldn't be part of this mess of a group and she would be on uh, HKT bingo. Oi, no. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah HKT maybe. Bingo. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so I just want to forget PD48. I'm glad it's over. No. I'm done. <laughs> it's over, it's gone. We, I'm done. We never talk about yeah. um, NGT uh, is um, releasing their single on October 3rd. Um, three music videos are out now for that. Um, so the main single one, which is the Russian one, um, and then the, the Katamina one, and then I think there was a Type C music video that just came out. Um, and yeah, they, they also had their first Budokan Live, which they promoted the single at. Yeah, NGT, yeah, new single, the third. Um, that's cool. about all I have for Japan 48. Um, Mina, do you have anything else for international? Uh, so I'll add on to your BNK. So Mobile, <laughs> who's a member of BNK, is uh, an exchange student for AD, I think. Mm -hmm. and, and Sally's new girlfriend, her name's Pichi. Isn't Pichi a... Poochie or something? Poochie, Poochie, there you go. Sorry. Her name is Poochie. She's, she's 18 and she's from BAT. Sally, that's not okay. I know that Sally. Oh, actually, Sally's probably like around that age, right? She's probably around yeah, that she's age. Like 19, we don't know her 20. age. We don't know her age. I think, I think Sally's like 20. Yeah. Okay, you can date her. It's okay. Yeah. I approve. Um, I approve as for well. SNH. <laughs> SNH news, um, BNZ will appear on the Amazing Idol September 21st. And subunit Blue V will appear on Best TV for an interview on September 19th. Um, should I add iZone news or no? Uh, yeah, but first I want to just, I just want to shoot okay, in here. Okay, you can um, add. Yeah, sure. Maris just is showing us something. That's mobile. Uh... Dude, I told you. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Thanks for sending me a mobile picture. She's cute. She doesn't deserve this name. Let's let's change this girl. There's still They're usually self-chosen names. Um, so that, that's what she wants to be called. Okay. But uh mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, BNK, uh King of Melody. They released a music video for that. Um oh, and yes. then the yeah. actual single release is September twenty-eighth. Um and then you can find out who the center is and stuff now. So, uh, yeah. I don't know who the center is. We've been talking about that a lot uh, yep. in past, past episodes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's out. You can listen to it. Um, also, their coupling, uh, which is released mm -hmm. prior. Uh, and then, yeah, you had Eyes on News. Yeah. Um, eyes One. Uh, yeah, I, Eyes One. Eyes on, I'll just say Eyes on. It's It's the Eyes teacher. One. It's a shitty sure. name, that's, just like that's, mobile. That's what the got. It's I, a I shitty it name. Okay. It's fine. Fine, eyes one. So they have new profile <laughs> pictures <laughs> for 12 members, if you guys haven't seen. Um, also, their V Light channel has opened for fans to get notified about group upcoming events. And uh, Hitomi, Sakura, and Nako have arrived at in Korea. I'm thinking they're doing group activities. They might be recording for uh, their single, so I love that. But, I've heard that they might do a V-Live, and iZone has a new MC for Overwatch. What? What? Yeah. It's, no. It's right. not Overwatch. It's not it? Overwatch. I saw Overwatch on it, though. It's not Overwatch. It's a game. It's a game. It's a, it's a game, game, but, but like, I saw not, Overwatch on it. I'm like, is it? Weird? It's it was a over game. something. It's over something, I think. I thought it was Overwatch, um, and I was like, Overwatch. What do you mean? Their new MC? What like, do you mean? Like, they're... they're like Hold it's a like a spokesperson deal, like they're promoting yeah. it. Oh, um, okay. It's not Overwatch though. Uh, Karina says it's Overhit. It's over Overhit. Over... Hit. It's a game. That's all I know. It's Overhit. Game, it's Overhit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trusting Chad. <laughs> I always trust Chad. <laughs> no, it's a new MC. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they've been uh, they opened SNS accounts on Twitter, Instagram, Weibo. Um, oh yes, Weibo. Uh, and yeah, they they've been doing some V lives. Um, there's probably VODs of those. 
um, if you want to watch them. Uh, it's just, just them like yelling at a camera, um, yeah. interacting with chat and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think from here we can go into 46 stuff. Do we want to start with Kayaki or? Oh, we should end with Nogi, I guess, just because of yeah, Nana's stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the first the first news, I just want to get this out of my chest and then we can talk about other stuff. Kizuna Ai. Kizuna Ai. Kizuna Ai. I don't like you right now. I'm so mad. So Kizuna Ai, we know, if you guys don't know, it's like a virtual YouTuber kind of a thing. Um, she has her own YouTube channel. It has like tons and tons of views. Uh, kind of like started this whole like virtual, uh, I don't know, YouTuber. Yeah, it should, they, they pretty much do a VR, you know, virtual anime girl. And that's what she is. She is a pretty big Kayaki fan. We knew that she tried to, she tried to like, uh, be part of the, the Hiragana auditions as a virtual YouTuber and she didn't make it, unfortunately. But, and she's, I think she's like a Nak Akanen Oshi. So she like really likes Nen. Um, and yeah, she, she just talks about Kekizaka every time she can possibly talk about Kekizaka. And I'd really appreciate that. That's great. You're, you're the best, Kizunai. But apparently she got uh, some views from uh, PewDiePie, which is arguably the biggest YouTuber. I think he still is, right? biggest youtuber in the whole world and he has like lots of views and then he watched a video of kizuna Ai, and then kizuna Ai made another video just saying hey and it's hilarious the video is hilarious because she cannot speak english for the life of her <laughs> and i was trying really hard i was just listening because i wasn't watching the video i was just trying to understand her english and I just gave up and I had to read because I just couldn't understand what she was trying to say. But she speaks English, the video, the entire like video. And when she said that she wanted to do a collab with her, PewDiePie, she said <laughs> that she wanted to talk about Keaki Zaka 46. He, she starts her argument with, I know you like cute girls. <laughs> I know you really like cute girls. So... Maybe you should watch Kegzaka 46. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and I mean, PewDiePie might actually watch Keaki now. And I don't think he's going to be really into Keaki. But what's going to happen is what if people actually like Keaki based on PewDiePie's? And then we're going to have a bunch of like PewDiePie fans on the fandom right now. I'm sweating. I am not happy about it. I'm so nervous that this is going to blow up. Oh, we, we don't want that. We don't want that. Please. I mean, keep keep pushing Keaki. You're the best. I love you. But don't push Keaki to, you know, PewDiePie. Cause, Keaki know. fandom already the worst fandom. Yeah, like people already say that Keaki fandom is not super great. I mean, I think it's super great. I think it's good. I never had any issues <laughs> with it. Well, I do have issues with it every other day. But like... I'm cool with it, you know, I think people are really nice, but there are some toxic fans and I don't know if, I don't know if we're ready for like PewDiePie bro culture to join. Anyway, anyway, that's something I just wanted to get off my chest. Thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> so Kayaki news. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, last week, wait, what? when was it? Like Friday, Saturday, I don't know. Uh, they were on Music Station, um, and we actually streamed on on Kevids. If you guys didn't catch that, but we actually got to stream it, and they performed three songs, which is kind of a lot. Like I didn't expect them to perform. It was like short versions, but they performed three songs. So there was a whole buzz that you no know, Monica was gonna come back, and we were all hyped thinking Monica was going to come back. She didn't. She was not there. It was sad. She just, yeah, it didn't happen, guys. Uh, but they sang um, uh, Kataru Nara Mirai wo, and then they did like a little medley with uh, Saimajo. 
So what happened was they they created something really cool. And I don't know if they've been planning all of this stuff or it's just like kind of happened that way where Hirate's last pose on every single performance of Music Station kind of like starts or like there's like a there's like a timeline of of story that they were trying to paint with with their performances which kind of makes sense because it's Keaki we just didn't get it when we watched it cuz we were like oh my god Techi that's that's normally how I go watching stuff it's like is Techi okay no so yeah um yeah so they did like something where the last performance was ambivalent and just ends with like Techi hands so they like started this other performance like Katarunara starts with like Techi hand and then she ends Saimajo with the hands on her chest and then they they sing Saison like Futari Saison after like I don't know an hour later they sang Futari Saison and then it starts with the same position but I don't know what they were trying to do, but it was cool. How long is Music Station usually? Oh, it was so long, dude. And and it has like, it's so long that it had a break in the middle for news, right? So the first block of Music Station was uh, when they performed the, the first two songs and they performed it together. And then there was like a bunch of other performances and then Keaki came back. So it's just weird. Uh, I think they needed to, like, change clothes and shit because they showed up with the Futari Saison um, outfit for the second time, which was really cool. I love Futari Saison. Can I just say that? Holy shit, what a nice song. Every time they perform, it's just so great. Techi was happy. She laughed. She smiled. And it was good. I was really happy to see Futari Saison again. I I th- I feel like Keaki needs like another Futari Saison song. I'm not like Ambivalent is not that song yet. Even though it's cheery, it's like a happy kind of a song. I just yeah, I just really like Futari Saison. Um, yeah, so that AKB was and, uh, Go ahead. Twice were there, right? Yes. I I think Twice was there, but like yeah, I didn't watch it. I think they yeah, so so I mean, there's that there's the the clip that you kind of got in drama with, um, where where during uh, Twice's performance or whatever, right? Oh, cut to face it. dude, it wasn't okay. even a performance. It was they were showing oh, a video. Showing VCR. Yeah. They were showing a video, and then like Wait, what? they were showing a video of like because they were oh, doing yeah. in the first block of the, of the of music station, they were doing like a top fifty best choreographies or whatever um and uh Fukuaon and yeah. Saimajo were there and then TT from Twice was there so they were showing like clips it was a bunch of music yeah. it was yeah. a bunch of songs like even old really old songs were there like Pink Lady <clears throat> was there and stuff like that and then it was just like you know how they have like they have like the performance like the the video happening they have like the little the little yeah, they cut to people. Yeah, they no, they like have the like the little camera here. The little box. Yeah, yeah. the little box. So For they were like box. switching between because it wasn't a live performance. It was just like a VTR. Yeah. So they were just showing like reactions, and I don't know. Like AKB girls were like Sashi was really into it. Sashi was like doing <laughs> TT and whatever. Yeah, yeah, like she was TV, really yeah. into it. And then every time it cut to a kanji girl, they were just like this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like sometimes they had like a small smile on their faces, but they were mostly like deadpan, like just looking at stuff. <laughs> and I don't know, people thought that it was rude. I was like, what the fuck, guys? You guys don't know shit. You know what rude is? <laughs> <Yeah>. Not this. <laughs> this is just them being kanji yeah. and having I mean, yeah, kanji just it's... doesn't know that they're supposed to be reacting to things at all times. Like it's... the camera's on you. It's Kanji Keaki. Like, they need people to go to their show and tell them how to have, like, variety skills. Like, they're just that bad, okay? And also, the concept of the the group is not like, hey, look at us, we're super cute. They have a different concept. And they they weren't being, like, rude or anything. They were just, like, 
like looking at the video you know <laughs> like normal people would <laughs> like i would I like i was watching it i wasn't at home going like tt as well <laughs> like who does that <laughs> i was just watching the fucking video yeah but i don't know guys i don't know like people get too much caught up in this stuff sometimes and and i i get involved in twitter drama i don't know why Please don't tweet at me. Just go tweet someone else. <laughs> Just leave me alone. T yeah, tweet me. weeb. Yeah, tweet weebs. Weeb. Just go fight with weebs, okay? I don't. I don't want. I'll fight anyone. I'm just I... like I don't give a shit. I just don't care. Anyway, <sighs> no Monica, no Zooming, no Aoi. That's what happened. Music station was nice. Techi had her arm was still fucked up, but she did a kind yeah. of okay job. Kind of okay job, you know. Um, okay, so, uh, next stuff is, um, <laughs> Kak is getting another five-minute show. I think Apupuri is dying, or whatever, they're finishing up, they're just, like, they're done with the show, I guess, or maybe they're adding another five-minute show for Kanji, I don't know, but it's, it's a, it's a weird one, it's called Sakuto Keaki. And it's about them solving problems and giving advice. And I was like, who had this brilliant idea to ask Kanji Keaki, <laughs> the mess that Kanji Keaki is, to give advice about anything? I mean, I would get advice if it was Neru. Anyone other than Neru, I would be like, I don't know if I want your advice. Like, imagine Pechan giving advices. I, <laughs> yeah, like. She's gonna be, hmm, hmm, yeah, that's, that's pay right there. Um, yeah, so they're Nair's getting the only a show. One who has her life together. What? Nero's is the only one who has her life together, is that what you're saying? I think Nero knows her shit, you know? I would, <laughs> I would get Nero's advice for sure. Um, Fuchan is fine too. The rest, Kanji is not super reliable, I guess. Well, I think they are reliable. I just don't know that I would get life advices from Kanji Keaki. Yeah, like, Nako will probably just say something really fucking weird. What about Risa? Yeah, Risa? Yeah. I don't know, she's quiet. Risa's a really quiet girl, so I don't know. Anyway, it's happening. We'll see what the hell this is. It has potential to be amazing five minute show so better than Apupuri because Apupuri was kind of meh yeah I didn't like it that much um okay so moving on to Techi stuff there's a lot of Techi stuff by the way she had at least 13 covers just this past few months you know what 13 covers is like we are so fed like it's a great time of the year to be a Techi fan we spent ages without knowing if she was alive or dead and then now she has all these covers and i am like so happy every single day i wake up and there's like new techie pictures i'm happy uh hibiki is doing super fine apparently it's, it's, people are enjoying it a lot of people are saying good things about her um we we won't be able to see it anytime soon so let's trust that people are not being super biased and just liking the movie because Hirata is in there. But uh, they, they're saying really good stuff. And it's doing really good on box office. I think it was like, I don't know, it's over millions already. Like, it, it's doing it's doing fine. I don't think it's a movie that was really expensive to shoot. And yeah, so they're probably, they probably made their money back already and they're fine. Um... But one cool thing that is happening is that, you know, that she's been in all the things possible. Like, she has all these interviews and TV shows and whatever. And one of the things, she really likes Hibiki. Like, if there's something that we know is that Techi is in love with Hibiki. Like, she thinks Hibiki is the best thing in the world. And that she wanted to change her name to Akui Hibiki. And she actually asked Akimoto if, she, if he was fine with it. And Akimoto was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can just... Uh... And then the interview was like, but you can say like, Akui Hibiki from Keagizaka 46. That would be weird. And then Hirata is like, wouldn't that be really interesting though? I think like Hirata is just a big troll. And she just 
yeah. But it just shows that she can do whatever she, the fuck she wants, and Akimoto would be like, okay, go ahead. Do you want to... What do you want to do? Just, yeah. So I think she he, she got the, the Sashi card already from Akimoto. Akimoto. Yeah. He, he really likes her. Um... Okay, so like other quick news, uh, Hiragana is gonna be on Tokyo Girls, uh, Tokyo Girls collection. That's another uh, one of those uh, model shows, whatever. Uh, Kanji Girls are also gonna be uh, modeling, but they won't performing. They won't be performing. Hiragana will be performing. Um, and tomorrow, Kanji is gonna be on Inazumi Rock or something. Um, it's like a festival or something like that, so they're going to perform on that. Uh, Nader is going to be on a drama, um, which is good, I guess, because the last thing we got from that that weird that weird drama, I didn't even watch it. Did you watch it, Weebs? The, the Tarabada one? I didn't watch it. Yeah, it, it, it was just so boring that none of us, even I... someone that is a Nader Woshi, didn't, didn't want to watch that stuff because it looked boring. Um, yeah, so hopefully it's gonna be a good drama. She gonna have a I nice mean, if part. It's anything like Detective Nehru. Yeah, let's just give, let's just make Detective Nehru a thing, you know? Yeah. Just make it happen. Everybody wants Detective Nehru, you know? Zumin is finally appearing on her drama, so there's been like some videos of her, um, acting. Um, apparently this last episode she was singing as well in a karaoke and people were just hyped. Yeah. But... I saw clips. What? Yeah. The, I, go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying that I saw some clips. And I was just saying that, like, I thought they looked really nice and it made me want to watch, um, even if I'm not that big of a Zumi fan. Yeah, um, it looks like there's there's definitely some chemistry between the guy, the kid, and, like, her. So it's kind of cute. I don't know if they're the same age. I think Imaizumi is way older than that kid. But, yeah. yeah. And she just looks like 14. Like, Imaizumi looks 14. So, kind of kind of makes sense. Uh, there's a zombie stage play with Sakamichi. Do you know yeah, yeah. the specifics so, about zombie, this? Zombie is the project that was started by Nogizaka. And, like, it, we don't know, like, what it all is yet, right? So, so far we have, like trailers of like the film or tv version right that features a bunch of nogizaka girls um but then there's now a stage part of it um and there's three stage teams for each sakamichi group so there's uh, like a nogi pair a kanji pair and a hiragana pair i think it's like habupong is it habupong i think it is for um, kanji. yes and then for Hiragana, it's uh, Saito Kyoko and Kosaka now. Yeah. Uh, Which makes Nogi, sense. It's, 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 it's I think it makes sense. Like, Kyonko and now is like, they're... Uh, arguably, like, Kyonko is the, is the most popular member from Hiragana. And now is probably the most popular for, for second gen. I'm not really mm -hmm. sure about that one. But I think she's, she like, is, she's, yeah, she's, she's getting pushed. Now is getting pushed. And Hirata is not available for this peasant stuff, like a stage play. So, you know, they're pushing Habu Pon, which makes sense. Pon, definitely. And I mean, the other kanji girls, like, that, uh, that are super popular are getting model stuff. So Habu Pon is also, are also going to TGC. And uh, Risa and Pe. So, Rika. And I think for Hiragana is... I think they got, like, all the model girls. They, they figure out who the model girls are, and they're just pushing them, you know? So, it's... Uh, uh, for Hiragana is... Who is... It's now... Uh, Katoshi... I don't remember. Oh, Ayaka... Yeah, I don't remember the, um, the the last member. Yeah. Oh, it's Asaki Kumi. Yeah, it's Kumi. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, they're they're always gonna do like model stuff, I guess. So that's cool. 
that they're getting all these jobs as well. I'm happy. I li I like watching this model stuff because they always like dress up with something that we never see. That because we always see them in uniforms, right? Like, so when we get to see them wearing some weird ass, I don't know, trendy thing, I'm like, oh, stuff. that's kind of cool. And then it just gives always gives us like really good meme pictures, so I'm cool with that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The other things are there's Khaki Show tomorrow. Uh. Oh, 46 show, which is 48 show, but it's gonna be 46 and it's gonna show like backstage stuff from their tour. So watch that. And also, last bit of news: Khaki won an MTV VMAJ award for ambivalent best video best idol video or something like that or best video i don't know best group video um which is cool because ambivalent is a really cool video i'm glad yeah that's Here's it Ghana. Here's Ghana getting a photo book or photo collection is it i didn't watch that one i didn't follow that one photo book they're, they're getting like a hiragana photo collection thing oh. that's cool that's cool. Yeah. Uh, you, Maris, did you watch all of Girls Award? I watched until the Kanji girls showed up. Yeah. So did I watched all the highlights? Kanji girls. What? Did you have highlights? Um, Highlights are Techi's really fucking awkward. Um, Pawn looks. Pawn killed it. Habu. Habu walks really nicely like the okay so the the noki girls are pros okay like they just know how to wear high heels and walk and just yeah. they're great noki girls 10 out of 10 amazing amazing every time no a noki girl was on stage i was like yeah they know what they're doing every time a kanji girl was on stage i was like they have no idea what they're doing with the exception of of habu pong Habu, Habu really knows what she's doing because she was a model before, right? And Pon is just like, Jesus Christ, Kobayashi Yui, just just give us a break, like, whew. And then Hirate was was a mess. Pe is just like awkward. Indisa looks like she's walking on, I don't know, she just looks stiff as hell, like when she's walking on heels. Um. There was some cool things with Asuka too. That was like um, Asuka's movie was there as well. Uh, so she did a whole thing with her and, and her co-actor. I don't know who the guy was, but yeah, it was they were, they, they were really cute together. They did like a short interview after. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there was a, a lot of... Uh, other high points of the, of the show. I was yeah. just like there for. So I mean, that's a good place to segue into like Nogi Zaka stuff. Um, so yeah, Saito Asuka, uh, she has a movie coming out soon, um, and they just released a new trailer. Um, I watched the trailer. Um, it looks and good. It's like the... yeah, 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 it does look good. Um, it's like some highlights I drew were like uh, like Asuka's acting seems pretty solid, right? It seems like that she's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. But there's this one scene where, like, I just couldn't help but, like, laugh at how, like, poorly, or just how, like, awkward it was. Like, it's raining, right? And they're outside. Yeah. Right? And she just yells out, Hontoni Vaka. <laughs> Wait, what? And it's just, like, it, it's just, there's, like, no context to it, right? It's just out of nowhere, and it sounds so weird. When she's like, Hontoni Vaka, mm -hmm. right? Like, you're really an idiot. Um, yeah. But it, it was just so bad, and I just couldn't help but laugh. Um, and then there's also like a like a wedding dress scene um, that's something might some people might be interested in. Um, I think like the promotional still is her like in the dress um, and like a single tear. Um, but yeah, yeah. so Saitaska's uh, movie um, "You're the Apple of My Eye" um, out soon, I guess. It looks uh, it looks want... like a regular high school like love coming of age. You know? Yeah, doesn't it? I mean, there's a. There's a there's an existing version. I mean, if some people some people could watch that if they if they're interested, um, I I can add details in the description of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so in other stuff, you have uh, a couple of new CMs. Um, uh, Mayan in particular has a new Shiseido CM. 
Um, so, my own man, all the money. So like all, it's all like close-ups on how like perfect her skin is. She's applying lotions and things like that. What my um, perfect? Pfft, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Um, and then the Nogi Big Three, which is Mayan, uh, Nanase, and Asuka, were in a uh, CM for Cup Star Ramen. Um, yeah. And so in that CM, like, uh, basically it's like people just like outside and stuff, right? And like there's like a billboard wall type of deal, right? Um, that is like that has like the Cup Star ad on it, right? But then like the girls on the poster like come to life and like they promote the ramen or whatever. And at the end, they like all. They're all like in ramen cups. And it's like, yeah, cup star. <laughs> Just great CMs, you know? Yeah. Typical, typical idol, idol CMs. Yeah, and, that makes um, no sense. And some other stuff. Uh, Nogizaka is teaming up with some other people, including Kawaii Rina, formerly of AKB, uh, for a program known as SOS 47, um, which is actually uh, like a, a PSA type thing um, where like they teach people about like the dangers of voice phishing um just like avoid voice phishing scams right but they need idols to do that i don't know um uh so specifically like in the like press release uh event you had uh, yamazaki reina there and ida kata um, in some other news before we get to like that's the so room. random <laughs> that's so yeah, random I mean, that's that's what an idol's job is, though, right? To just like promote things. I know, right? but like, <laughs> I think like idols are just because they're known for trying to fish you <laughs> in some sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just do a PSA based on, yeah. It's like, please don't buy my albums. Um, <laughs> If if someone calls you and says that you're it's Mayan, it's not Mayan, guys. Don't give them money. Yeah, I don't know. It's just or weird. or if you're an, if you're an elderly person, don't believe people who say that they're your child when they're not. Yeah, that's that's a good <laughs> advice. Yeah, I don't know if the old yeah people would listen to idols saying that, but sure, you know that's that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, some other stuff, uh, Kimono Friends, which is like a popular anime or something in Japan, um, yes. like animals one, yeah, where they're animals like, stuff. yeah, um, they are having a stage play, um, and they've casted, uh, Nogi members Sasaki Kotoko and Suzuki Ayane to star. Um, so they'll, so they'll be, they'll be like the, the two main ones, like the, 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 the gray one and the yellow one. I don't, I don't know that much about Kimono Friends. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there's that. And uh, also, I think that's all I have except for the two sort of big things that happened just like last night, right? Um, so the first is uh, Banana Man Himura uh, had oh, shit. a scandal. Yes. It was a pretty big deal. Um, and it's more or less like a done deal, right? Like he's now apologizing for it. Um, so the whole thing is in 2002. Um, Himura would have been like uh, late early 30s, maybe. Um, in 2002, uh, he uh, was in a relationship um, and had intercourse with a minor. Um, so, 16 years later, uh, this person's um, coming out to like I don't know, fuck with his life. Um, yeah, I mean, she's the victim, or I don't know. I don't know the whole situation, right? But well, uh, she's definitely the victim. Like you, you don't know what you're doing when you're like a dumb 16 yeah, year old yeah. but also the timing is kind of weird right why would you wait i mean maybe she just got the courage to say something now and you know we should yeah, yeah. but there's yeah, like it's... a whole there's like an article that like cites the whole like me too movement right um but i don't think there was an actual quote from her saying that she was inspired by um, stuff going on yeah here. it could be right like she does she didn't know she was you know being taken advantage of yeah and then now she understands it a little bit more she's like older and then she she decided to 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 release it right but the thing is he, he wasn't even famous at the time right he was just like a nobody um 
I'm not or sure. Or maybe he was. Banana has been in it a long time. Yeah, so, so maybe he was someone. So that yeah. fuck him. Yeah, yeah. This is... yeah. It's even worse so we, when we... you're in a in a position of power, right? Because you yeah. have control. Yeah. So he's issuing issuing like official apologies and stuff now, um, and we don't know, or actually, I, I at least I don't know like what the future entails regarding like Banana Man and Nogizaka. Yeah. Um, like in the past, I mean. Uh, Team 8 has like an MC on their show who uh, got caught uh, breaking into people's houses and stealing underwear. Um, yeah, that was that was either earlier this year or at the end of last year. The yeah, fuck? Like a, the MC to one of their shows, right? He's a comedian, right? Yes. Who's like relatively known, right? And he just like breaks in people's houses and like steals panties That's like everyone's. out of like he's like he's an anime or something. <laughs> Okay, did he get fired? He got, he was removed from that show, I think. Okay. I think the other MC stayed on or something. I don't remember. Okay. Um, but I don't think it was like a long running show anyway. So. And it wasn't like a duo, like it wasn't like Banana Men, which is a thing, right? Yeah, I yeah. I, I don't, maybe it was. I, I don't have oh. to check. But, um, yeah. So yeah, like this situation could wind up being weird. We don't know. Because um, I mean, uh, Nogi, do, Nogi Kotichu um, is... Uh, Nogizaka's ongoing show um, that's been on for years, right? Um, and even before that, uh, Banana Man was also on their show. Um, and so, so I mean, there's a there's a there's a a bunch of different things that could happen, right? They could end the show. They could replace both MCs. They could disband Banana Man. Um, yeah, there's just a. a they, could things, right? they could do nothing. They could do nothing, right? And just continue on as normal. But that would be that's whatever. That's the like scenario no one wants. Or at least from the fan side, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. How is that being like? How how are Japanese? Do you know anything about like Japanese fans? Because I woke up today and I thought like my timeline wasn't even like filled with like Nanase stuff. Is more like Himura stuff than Nanase. So uh -huh. I think that was like a big. Yeah, like people are definitely not okay with it. Yeah, so it's still new news, right? Yeah. Like, um, like before, I mean, like prior to like when the, the actual like photos were were released, right? Um, like you had people hyping the story or whatever. Um, but it's still like pretty new news. So like, um, if whatever like the Japanese people are saying, like I I haven't heard anything yet. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see like an insider's perspective on things. Maybe like next time if we have like Nick or Stefan on again. Yep, um, that would yeah, be cool. Yeah, because they are yeah. also comedians. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, but yeah, yeah. The other big news, right, is Nisha Nase's graduation. Um, we kind of been hinting at it. Nase. Like um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nisha Nase. Um, she's very much considered the either number one or number two in Nogizaka, depending on your perspective on things. Mm -hmm. um, she's number two. The like, there's no way it can be Maya. It's hard. Yeah, but, so, I mean, if, what I meant by, like, perspective, like, if you see things from, like, the greater Japan perspective, right? Like, Maya is everywhere. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, um... You if, saying Nanase you know, has more Japan, fans? I don't know. I, I, I can't say for sure, right? But, uh, like, it seems like they're a lot more vocal. One sec. Um, or is that? Uh, yeah, yeah. It just seems that they're a lot more vocal. Like even, even just like in international communities, right? Um, like yeah. Not to say like you have like rabid not say fans. And yeah. Less so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Uh. I mean, and then and then there's like the whole situation where like Mayan was always seen as like an ace from the beginning, right? Where not to say was someone who like climbed the ladder. Yeah. Um, like. Uh, her first center was Kazooie Tara, um, which is uh, one of the like, like middle songs. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah so, she wasn't like no, Kami. Se Wait, how did they do? They don't do a Kami Seven. They do. It's they something. Do Fukujin. Or Fukujin. Yeah, she wasn't like, I think in the first Fukujin or something. Yeah, she she's about on. She she probably has the second most to Maya now, uh, but uh, yeah. She she had to like work her way up. Like she wasn't Ikoma. She wasn't Shiraishi. Yeah. Um, 
she's kind of one of the members. Um, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, yeah. of it's kind of sad. I mean, she's definitely one of those really iconic uh, Nogi, you know, members. And I mean, she's fine. Like, Nana says yeah, fine. Yeah. Like, she's going to graduate. She's going to be fine. Should I? She's going to graduate. She's going to be fine. You know, they, they have no issues with that. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's weird to see her go, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's, it feels... I think, I think really it it was mostly unexpected um just because like if you think about mayan and nanase like everyone talks about mayan graduation all the time yeah and like, then nanase was like first, first thing yeah but but yeah so the nanase is first and uh and so it just ca catches everyone off guard right when you think about it that way um yeah yeah i mean it's gonna happen to all of our favorite members uh so It's not, yeah. yeah, at least, like, she spent some good time on Nogi, and she, I think, got to do everything she had to do. I don't think, I don't think she had a lot more to give to Nogi, or mm -hmm. to take from Nogi, right? I think she's the biggest star she could ever be in an idol group, like, yeah, she's pretty yeah, big. Yeah. Um, so I think it's fine, like, when you actually... I, I get sad because yeah, you're not gonna see your Oshi man or whatever anymore. But like, I I am I'm okay with idols graduating when they have to graduate. Like they feel like they accomplished everything. And I think Nanase did accomplish everything. What I'm not okay is like cases like Zumin, which I think she had so much more to offer Keaki. Um, or when it's like a scandal and they graduate, which is kind of always kind of sad, right? so yeah i mean we, not... we kind of had nanase scandals this year like they weren't like true, hard true, scandals, true, true, true. Like, there's a lot of talk there's a lot of talk about nanase yeah um from bunshin um and then uh i mean her blog post talked about um how she's been planning this for like a year um like she approached management about graduation last year um and uh yeah yeah so uh what we can draw from the blog post um some people are saying that they Uh, or some people are reporting that um, she's going to be continuing in show business. Um, yeah, after for graduation. sure, for sure. Um, but she didn't say it specifically in her blog, or at least for, as far as I could read. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so she's continuing Nogizaka activities just through this year, but then coming back for her official graduation concert, which I think is on her, which is her birthday, by the way. It's um, like next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm, in 2019. Yeah, sad to see her go, yeah. but you know, good luck out there, Nanase. You'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like her. She was like my favorite Nogi member. Mostly because she's really pretty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It was mostly a yeah. platonic thing. But then I, I watched some uh, some of her videos because like timeline today has been like a lot of Nanase videos too. So she has like this weird thing with like reptiles. She really likes yeah. snakes yeah. and like she, she it's weird. Lizards. And then I watched um, a video of her today crying because of a fat pigeon. And I hate yeah, fucking pigeons. Pigeon. I hate pigeons. Nana said, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> pigeons are gross. They're... Don't touch those. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They're like flying well, rats. But I think pheasants are pigeons too, right? Or they're related, and then people eat pheasants. It just depends on the location, right? Nope. Yeah. Don't touch the fat <laughs> pigeon, Nana said. You're going to get some weird ass disease. Yeah. It's bad. It's just bad <laughs> stuff. Oh Please. They actually, she had, she had like a special on Nogi Zaka, no, Nogi Doko for her first center. I, I subbed that in English. Um, so if you guys want to watch that, um, that's the thing. Um, it's for Kizitara um, and it's about it's it's a lot about like who she is and how like she is not typically like the center type because she's very like quiet. She's right? pretty um, shy, she right? Really yeah. close from the beginning, yeah. yeah. Um, and how she she doesn't feel like she's particularly close to a lot of the members um, and things like that. Because Nogi yeah. is not kanji, dude. Yeah, <laughs> which is good. Um, I'm just saying it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in like Nogi's like other graduates, right? Um, 
you have people like uh, I think the person getting the most work these days is a Google Gawa Mai. Um, she's in like a lot of like small acting jobs, and I think she gets on shows and stuff like that. There's also like Nagashima Seda, uh, who's I think in the same company as Banana Man is. Um, uh, I only see her like periodically through like other people's accounts. Um, and then like Nana Min, she was out of show business completely, um, but people are seeing her at like staff jobs, right? With like the whole equal love thing. Um, and then, but I, I wanted to bring up, uh, just because there's like a revelation about uh, uh, Nakamo no Himika, Himita. Um, recently, uh, she came out um, doing some promotional thing. Uh, like, so to give some background, right? Um, she took a long hiatus uh, for health problems um, yes. in like 2016, 2017. Um, and when she came, she only came back for a short time before she announced her graduation, um, which kind of like uh, made everyone sad, uh, right? Um, and she's like the sister of baby metal. Um, but yeah, 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 so she, when she graduated, she said that she was gonna retire from show business um, completely. Um, but she came out recently promoting for a thing about mental health, um, which I thought was really cool of her. Um, she was saying that she was having, uh, like, she was talking about those problems and she didn't exactly, like, attribute them to the reason why she left Nogizaka, but, like, that's an implication that could easily be made, right? Um, and so, yeah, that was the thing that came out and I just thought it was worth talking about. Because, I mean, <laughs> idolize hard, right? Yeah. I mean, I hope, I hope my Nogi... Oh, she's our like mutuals are, are are doing fine, cause I know when when Zoomin announced her graduation, I was kind of sad the entire day. Well, I I was mm. still sad like for a week or so. Yeah. Um, it's never easy, but she mm. did she did what she had to do. I feel like she's she's yeah, a good yeah. spot. She's a good spot to to leave Nogizaka. Yeah. yeah, she gets multiple centers. She yeah. does well in modeling yeah. jobs. Um, she still has modeling contracts. I don't know if she'll end those or not when when, when she's done with Nogi Saka. Um, but Maybe. if she does, like she can pick up new jobs if that's what she wants. Yeah, she's too pretty to not get any modeling jobs. Come on, she can do whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Nanase. Yeah, you're still around, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still around. Yeah, so what? We're like an hour 20? Um, yeah, 1 we can 30. Yeah. Wrap things up. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything anyone wants to add? Mina? Uh, no, not really. Mary? Mm, yeah, so there's a bunch of like chaos stuff coming out like there's the oh there's the DVD that's coming out as well. Please, oh, please yeah. buy chaos DVD. It looks so cool jesus christ that concert looks so fucking cool um and uh for kevids we might um stream some of the not 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 the concert we don't have the concert guys but uh we might stream some of the some of the performances um maybe we will stream like tgc too if they show hiragana stuff yeah so keep you know, just follow Kevit's um, Twitter account, and we might we might stream the stuff. Yeah. If I get if I get enough friends to do it with me, I might live stream uh, Junket. Ooh, yes. I don't know if you guys want in on that, but it's gonna be like what Saturday night for us. I mean, yeah. I don't know enough about Forty Eight to be a good like person really to be it. there yeah. yeah but i yeah go ahead stream on Oshimoshi if you want um yeah do that that'll be fun yeah so um in the in the coming days uh you guys can expect uh, two vod's uh, as soon as i can get to them um that's going to be last week's social experiment uh and today's episode um if you like what you saw um then you can hit subscribe here or hit follow here at twitch um Oshimoshi cast you can also follow us on Twitter at OshimoshiCast and on YouTube. Uh, the channel's name is Oshimoshi as well. Uh, yeah, and you can also follow all of us individually. I'm at Wea Bookstore, not at Idols, but Blonde. Um, <laughs> Maris is at Maris from 546. Please don't tweet me okay. when you're angry about stuff. Tweet, tweet someone her. else. Tweet Weebs. Tweet me. 
Yeah. And then, Leave me alone. Uh, Mina is at my UE24. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. That's the show for today. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who joined us live. Um, yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.